Hello everyone, and welcome to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I'm outside the former Bethlehem Steel plant. Bethlehem Steel was a titan of American industry until its closure in 2001. And this was one of its main plants right here in Bethlehem. Now, one interesting thing about this site, which is well-preserved as the Steel Stacks Entertainment Complex, is that it had its own broad gauge railway. Let's check it out. Now the first part of the steel making process is melting down iron ore into what's called pig iron. And that's what these blast furnaces are for. Now iron ore is very, very heavy. So the Bethlehem Steel Company installed an electric broad gauge railroad up here on the trestle to carry iron ore from the storage bins over there all the way to the blast furnaces. As you can see down here, the tracks are about 7 feet 10 inches wide, which is a lot wider than a standard gauge railroad. And then the equipment used on the line mostly consisted of self-propelled cars like this one. They were called Larry cars, and they were powered by trolley wire, which has now since been taken down. You can still kind of see the trolley pull on this one. It contained the iron ore in this big hopper here. And then they had cabs on each end. You can kind of see inside the cab of this one. There's some of the controls. The Leary cars would bring the iron ore to the trestle, and then other cars would bring coal. Both ingredients would be dropped below the trestle, where another smaller electric railway would weigh out the right ingredients, and then the ingredients would be carried up by a conveyor belt into the blast furnace, where the iron would be melted and turned into pig iron. Here you can see the conveyor belt that would take things up into the blast furnace. So here's another Larry car. Let me see what I can see through the window. Not much. And here we see an intact trolley pole. Down here you can see the trucks. Now this one looks like it's a different design than the others. I'm not sure why it looks different. Ooh, nice view into the cab here. There's like a throttle or a brake or something. I'm not really sure what the controls are. Now there was a plan to rehabilitate these cars to carry tourists, but that plan has clearly not come to fruition, nor will it anytime soon. Now the walkable portion of the trestle doesn't continue all the way to the old ore bins, but as you can see, the broad gauge railway continues curving off into the distance along with a narrow gauge railway that ran alongside it. The Broad Gauge Railway here at the Bethlehem Steel Plant operated until 1995 when the whole plant was shut down. Today, the bulk of the world's steel production takes place in China. They may use Larry cars there. I don't know because But if you ever want to visit the Steel Stacks Complex and walk the Hoover Mason Trestle, this complex is open seven days a week here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Be sure to check it out, it is pretty awesome. Also be sure to subscribe. Take care everybody.